Kaplan gets set of the face off. Dot. He'll go head to head with Jonathan Jeanette. And we are underway here in the first period from Glens Falls, New York. Up pretty well as Harper flips it back to center ice and a two on one right out of the box. It's Vidmar over the line with Rising across for Rising and he drives it just wide. Alex Dao behind the Adirondack net. Guillaume Le Pen tries to get there first, but Ducharme knocks it around and rims it back around and then delivers a hit with the shoulder on LeBlanc. Bunner still killing for 15 more seconds. Sending it back up center point is Hillis. Getting it back now is Labe with a shot. They score. Dylan Labe through some traffic. Nine seconds left on the penalty for Adirondack. It's a power play goal for the Lions. And they take a 1-0 lead with 8.33 to go in the first. Side boards, Kaplan was late to get there. Back to center it goes. And now Justin Ducharme storms in on a breakaway. Ducharme's in on the backhand. Kaisel shuts him down. Keeping in for the time being, a diving play there. Will actually free the puck up and send Shane Harper in the offensive zone one-on-one. -on -one. Harper, toe drags, short-handed, in on goal and couldn't pull the trigger past Pagliarulo. In the second, Lions on top, one nothing. Nice play by Carrier to flag it down in the neutral zone. Sending Phillips in, wrist shot by Carrier wide of the net. Rebound, Phillips banging on goal, he scores! Trey Phillips for the Thunder has his first. And a little pushing and shoving after the whistle, but the Thunder have tied the game with 14.01 to go here in the second period. Trey Phillips with the wraparound, banged it on goal. And Adirondack on a nice heads up play by Alex Carrier through the neutral zone. And made it 1 1. And the Lions change. Thunder will get it back possession wise. And Grasso will lead it up the ice for Luke Stevens. Walking in, shoots. Blocker saved by Pagliarulo. It's the Lions. As Harper gets it over the line for Vidmar. Extra attack over the Thunder. Harper, wrist shot, rebound off the post. And they score. I don't think it went in. But Meyer celebrating as if he did, but they might have to go review this. Pagliarulo shows off the leather there. Off the faceoff, Harper scores! A big faceoff win for the Thunder, rolls right in front of the net, and Shane Harper pots it home, and the Thunder have taken the lead 2-1. This one, and some physicality, and pushing and shoving, and some offensive chances for both sides. Lions with the puck. Here's Brodeur, wrist shot off the helmet of Kaisel on the backhand. The Lions get it right back. Anthony Nellis right in front of the Adirondack cage. It went off the helmet of Kaisel, off the left pad, and then Anthony Nellis makes no mistake on the backhand. And just like that, it is two to two on Nellis's ninth of the year. Actually appeared in a game for Montreal earlier this year. As the puck directs in off the boards and the Lions take the lead. Nice shoulder check there by Linesman on Lauderdier. Puck back behind the net, wrap around, try, they score. Two quick goals for the Lions and they have a 4-2 lead as it's Jonathan Jeanette making it 4-2 with 14.28 to go. More goals, quick succession for William LeBlanc. Fakes the shot with Paul Meyer all over him. Behind the net comes to the near side corner. La Riviere gets it back around for Jeanette. High slot, they score again. William LeBlanc, 5-2, Lions, 13.02 to go. Sick. Now Harper again. Sets it up, far circle for MacArthur, back for Rysik. Thought about the one-timer now. Harper lets it go. Saved by Pagliarulo. Rebound. They score! Right in front, it's Patrick Grasso and the Adirondack Thunder. And made it a two-goal game with a power play tally. 10.55 left in the third. Hit and a penalty coming up here against Adirondack, I believe. As the puck comes out in front. And the penalty won't be needed. A goal for the Lions. They get it right back. Justin Ducharme, and it's 6-3. Wall, rather, it's Jeanette, who has a goal tonight. Chopped at by McCarthy. LePan tries to stick him on down, and that will do it here for this one.
Big third period for the Lions. Separates the two teams, and Trois-Rivières comes out on top on the final score of 6-3 to three here on the Saturday night in Glens Falls.